Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we got a teaser for the next event in Hockey Ultimate Team, and it's definitely something that hasn't been done before. So my man Nasher tweeted out, coming to EA Sports NHL tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern time, I'm going to be adding two banger cards to NHL 22 Hut. Who could it be? So it looks like we're getting the Hut Social Showdown Team Nasher. Now, I don't know how this is going to work, and I don't know if other influencers or other players or something like that are going to be involved, and if this is just a standalone release, or if this is part of what the new event could be. Now, all I can do is really kind of just think about what Nasher would choose in terms of two cards, so... All right, let's go ahead and speculate. All right, now, if I know Nasher, and I think I do, there's a pretty easy one, and we haven't gotten one yet. So I'm thinking that one of his choices would be a new Rick Nash card, as we've only got the 88, 18, or 16-bit hero card. So taking a look at this, I would assume it goes up to 95 at least. Again, I don't know if this is going to be a new Master Set player, or if it's just going to be a standalone release. But regardless... Rick Nash cards are some of the best built in terms of hockey ultimate team and gameplay and one of the coolest cards. He was added back to the alumni association this year, uh, was one of the more exciting players added back to the player pool. So let's just pretend that he gets bumped up to, let's say, a 95. That'd be plus seven across the board and essentially everything. So he would have almost max shooting, essentially. He would have almost max hand stats. Defensively, he'd be pretty high as well into the mid 90s. His skating, however, I mean, if it goes up by 0.5, then we're looking at about 90 acceleration, 90 speed. And you'd have to guess if they're doing a special release, he'll get some skating synergies. And if he does get an acceleration and uh, a speed boost, at like 92, 93 speed and acceleration at six foot four, we're looking at something built like Miko Rantanen, and I'm all about that. It all depends on his abilities, but I would definitely say if he's going to choose two cards to add to Hockey Ultimate Team, Rick Nash is definitely going to be one of them. All right, now the other guess is going to be Patrick Linea. Now he has been blowing it up lately, and he didn't get a Team of the Week card, which was kind of odd. Which makes me think that he's getting a bigger card this Friday. And if that's the case again, just another awesome hut card. Six foot five. If he can get over 90 skating a little bit higher, if he let's say gets up to a 95, he will be. This is one of the better hut cards in the game. So definitely the potential of some exciting cards. Now again, I have no idea what this event is going to entail and if this release is an event or just something special that Nasher is doing with EA. But those would be the guesses that I would have for this next event. And if that's the case, these are going to be some of the best cards in the game leading into GWC. Now I want to talk a little bit about preparing for the next event and over the next few weeks. So the Gaming World Championship was announced. Registration is open and it is going to be begin very shortly. The open qualifiers, which anyone can participate in, begins in two weeks on March 16th. That's very soon. And the things I want to pay, I want you guys to pay attention to is that the market is going to drastically shift them. That is when everyone is going to try and make their teams as best as they possibly can in order to try and compete and qualify for this event. So the cards you want to pay attention to, if you've been watching the market with NHL team builder cards, you've noticed that Everyone kind of pumped the market full of cards that they had been saving, um, which again, I mean, I had been I've been telling you guys to stock up on them, so it was kind of to be expected. Now it is starting to dry up a little bit. So if you have any 74 to 79s, so hold off just a little bit longer, guys. Wait for this next event because if there are some banger cards that come out tomorrow um, for the next event and leading into the GWC qualifier week. On top of the team builder cards, they're going to be necessary So for a lot of people qualifying. So that is when I would kind of pull the trigger. So next Monday to Tuesday, that is when I would look to sell all of my uh, team builder cards. So if you've got them still and you haven't sold because you haven't liked the prices, essentially anything over 1,200 uh, uh, points or card, sorry, 1,200 coins is what I would pull the trigger on the 74 to 79s. Um, at anything more than 2,000 on the 80 to, um, 82s is what I would do on those cards. But like I was, like I said, I've been saving, um, just haven't liked the prices yet, and I'm going to wait a little bit longer before I sell because you should be trying uh, to maximize your coins here, and you should. Again, everyone is going to get really desperate. After those qualifier weeks, though, guys, at the end of March, the market is going to crash hard because a lot of the player base will kind of move on, especially the competitive players. So yeah, I want you guys to just take a look at some of the more uh, car, like more pro-style cards that will be highly sought after going into the GWC. Uh, one is going to be Corbinian Holzer. So if you've got this card, um, you know, it's probably going to go up in price very shortly because unless there is another card that comes out that is as powerful as him, right defense is kind of... Um, 
not as uh, solidified as some of the other positions in terms of like the top end cards. There's a lot of options, but there isn't very many that hit all of the notes that you want on a high end card like Corbinian Holzer. So make sure that you pay attention to that one. I also want to point out the Zach Wierenski. I've noticed this, my co-host Kesso um, from my podcast, his ability to shoot from the point has been incredible. If you have gold 1T on this card, um, he is hammering home D to D one timers, and he's not going for very much in relative terms compared to some of the other defensemen and master set players. Be on the lookout for Rowenski because if you need that point shot defenseman, he is definitely one to look at because his one T gold one T has been doing wonders in comp play. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I'll be back tomorrow for the launch of the next event. Be sure to join the stream live 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time, and we'll break down all the new cards live tomorrow, and we'll be live today as well. So come check out my stream. I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.